When I was young, in primary school, aged seven, eight or nine, I was hanging out at my friend Shane's house, who lived a short walk away from my house. In fact, his property was linked to my own street. Even though his address was a different street, you could get to his house through my street. And he had a very large property. His parent, his family had a very large property and there was enough space for him to do outdoor activities like water fights and things like that. And Shane loved billy carts. He loved making them, he loved racing them, and so he had a special place in the backyard just for billy carts. Now, I was unfamiliar with billy carts and how they're meant to work, but I had plenty of cartoons and imagination to work on exactly how they meant to work. And so I imagined in my head a system in which at a moment's notice you could get into the billy cart where you were in the cubby house, you needed, you heard, you know, the emergency beacon or the call for help. So you grabbed hold of the swing, you swung over a large plane, you got into, and then you, as you, as you ended, ended, as you completed the swing arc, you would drop into the billy cart and you would instantly be ready to drive. That was the thought that went through my head. So I tried it out. I got into Billy, uh, I got into Shane's cubby house. I grabbed hold of the swing and I placed his billy cart where I thought the finish of the swing's arc would meet so that I could drop immediately let go of the swing and drop down into the billy cart. Well, that isn't what happened. Instead, I crashed basically head first into the billy cart. I remember the moment after I hit the billy cart, I was screaming <laughs> in a lot of pain. It was a very <laughs> unpleasant and I never tried to do something like that ever again.